Hi, this is Emmy, uh, who painted all the paintings uh, of these worship songs. Uh, I was asked to explain a little more about every picture I made. So I'm going to start with the very last song, uh, where humankind is giving glory to God. So um, my explanation is that the things you see floating up into heaven uh, is the praise. They are praises and and love towards God and uh, the last thing that happens is when uh, everyone is taking out so uh, the blue sort of looks like plants actually <laughs> in the bottom there but uh, it's humankind uh, their bodies and everything is open up to be raised uh, up to the glory and the glory is uh, obviously the yellow part uh, in the upper part of the painting. So uh, the yellow stuff, the bulls, so to speak, uh, it's appreciation of God. And the red, sort of pinkish uh, paint, is the love that goes up to heaven and also gets more intense uh, in the upper part. So that's uh, what I can explain about number one, the very last song. Okay, moving on to number number two, which is the song of heaven. Uh, I wanted to describe uh, different kinds of layers of people and uh, areas that are giving praise to the Most High God. And uh, he is represented by the yellow fields in the upper part. Uh, and all the people I painted as sort of different layers in white, green, and to the left, a little black. And cir the circles are different uh, stages uh, where people are in their spiritual lives. So, uh, and as you see, it's the darker parts in, uh, to the right at the bottom. They're, they haven't been enlightened so much. So they are sort of striving upwards and looking on these uh, tiny strands that goes from uh, different parts and to follow that and uh, sort of see the example of the people who are already saved and also appreciate the Lord and praise Him. And uh, the different colors here, uh, uh, the green actually is the, the world, uh, where we stand, uh, where our feet are. So, and where we live, of course. <laughs> so, this is my explanation for this, uh, for this uh, painting, The Song of Heaven. And uh, I don't know if I can say anything more, but the, the straight line from up the upper part that goes from top to bottom, and in the bottom there you can see some white uh, lines. That, that represent people who in, in the midst of turmoil and in their lives they haven't come so far but they still have, uh, ha they have been saved. So they are also touched by the light uh, from God. And that uh, is... I, can't say so much more of the, uh, from that painting, but that's uh, what I felt. Okay. Moving on to number three, uh, we a uh, story to tell the nations. Uh, that song uh, made me see the world, uh, our globe, where we live, uh, in different colors, in different races. 
wherever we are on this globe, God's word made us. It's everywhere. So uh, we can't escape it actually. Uh, so I saw God's word as a book. And uh, the world is in that book. And it's given to us. Given to us. And uh, as you see, I painted a transparent book, which, uh, in my in my mind, is uh, the word of, of uh, the Lord, the the Bible. And uh, obviously, uh, you can see our globe in the middle of it, and it's sort of floating inside, and. Uh, all the colors, as I said, are people and everything he created. And uh, through the word, we should praise him and thank him for, for the globe uh, we live on. So that's my, my vision about this song. Moving on to number four, my faithful Lord. I see people sometimes as diamonds or precious stones. So this painting uh, is uh, illustrated from that uh, corner of my head uh, that people are like uh, sort of diamonds that are uh, shaped like squares and other straight forms. And uh, as you can see on this painting, uh, there are darker ones, there are lighter ones, and there are uh, brighter and more warm colors in some. And obviously, uh, the dark ones, they haven't met Jesus yet. They haven't understood that uh, they have to turn to God to see His love. And uh, the yellow parts, the uh, the white parts, uh, the the um, light blue perhaps also, they are striving to go up to to the Lord, and they obey His uh, demands and understand them. And the left upper corner, obviously, is uh, God's power. That's uh, the white part and the yellow part that enlightens people and uh, they are slowly coming upwards towards that part and that's how I uh, thought uh, when I listened to the music and I understood how uh, the one making the music uh, explained about this uh, piece uh, so this how this is how I uh, thought what I saw precious stones and diamonds everyone is a diamond before God and he loves everyone and this is obviously his aim that everyone will come to him some haven't understood yet and some have so this is what I saw actually, people coming to God in his mind as jewels. And that's about it about this painting. Number five on this list is already not yet. And what I saw listening to this song and the uh, explanation of the composer is that our world is in turmoil and everything around it, even inside this world, is in turmoil. It's uh, bad influ influences, there are um, uh, wicked ones, evil ones, that are trying to, to take over the world. And in this case, I saw the word coming down as, uh, and the, the glory of God coming down around us and uh, taking His light 
into the world and just pour down around the globe, the whole world. I saw, and this, of course, is uh, the word and uh, the love that comes from Him. So uh, this is our salvation. This is our praise also that He gave Himself. He gave His Son, Yeshua, who came down and He saved us. And this, these white strokes, they uh, are supposed to to picture that, that the good and uh, the love from God came in in the name of Yeshua and what he made. He, he made us free when we accept him. So the world is uh, being a bit lighter when this, uh, this force coming down from heaven and touches our world. And the darkness, they, it has to go because it can't survive when God's power and God's light is coming down to us and saves us. Hmm. That's about what I saw. Next to song, uh, number six, is Hallelujah, Praise the Lord. And what I saw when I listened to that one uh, is that when we open up and we give our praise to Him, He will send a very strong help for us. A strong uh, healing, love, everything we need, knowledge. And He give, gives back so much. And it's like waves coming down. And the things coming up from the from uh, from the uh, the pink yellow strike a stroke uh, down to these waves are that when we reach up to him he he just pours it down to us he everything he has to uh, to give us. And it pours up and down and to every side and even touches a bit up uh, where those who, who perhaps not have found him can even see this light and this love coming from this force that is given to us, given to us. And uh, let's hold on to it. Let's praise more. Let's spread the light and so others can be saved and uh, the people he loves, everyone is that, uh, can see and be saved and yeah, live a good life. Number seven, Unshakable Kingdom. When I listened to that, I saw the kingdom in the midst of everything, like a, here, like a big box with glory inside, and it's dripping glory from higher levels into that box where he is situated. It's much bigger, of course, but this is just a picture I got. And it's secured from above uh, in two places here and in from uh, the bottom of the painting which is uh, his kingdom established on earth so uh, and everything around it uh, the several colors they are black ones blue ones green ones uh, everything is uh, different places here on earth races and the, the good and the trouble we uh, endure and in the midst of this we can be sure that his kingdom is secure it's there it has been there before we were created and uh, we just have to believe it it's in here it's up there it's everywhere and he knows everything and we just hang on to that kingdom 
and we must just realize that if we have that inside, we cannot ever be destroyed. We are his children and that's what we hang in for. We actually believe that because he said so in his word. So this is what I saw. Moving on to number eight, simple life. What I experienced uh, is what the composer said, that everything we do uh, here in, in uh, everyday life is like chasing after the wind. And uh, nothing we can do here is better than to look up at, uh, at him and realize that he is the life. So what I painted here is actually the waves uh, that we go through. The word is chasing and we have different uh, levels of chasing. Uh, we have the wind, we have the sea uh, that represents everyday life that goes before God in our lives. So here actually is nothing more than chasing after wind, after nothing. Instead of praising Lord and just appreciate what he is doing. Uh, and I can't say much more about this except what I saw when people are not thinking about God in their lives. An endless race of nothing. And this is the sea and the, the sky. There's nothing happening. It's just wind and waves. Number nine, Be Thou My Vision. There I painted the Holy Spirit as a cloud above us uh, with the, uh, the Lord's uh, love and power inside. And it's uh, rather vaguely coming up or down, whatever you want whatever you see uh, from heaven and under the cloud there are we different people uh, different stages and we can draw uh, strength and wisdom and love from that cloud which is the Holy Spirit and we can move God through the Holy Spirit who always is in in front of the throne and do whatever the father or the son is telling or saying that uh, he should help us with or do and uh, God listens so there's nothing more to say about that uh, the Holy Spirit I thank him every day I thank him uh, for making everything possible here in this world and we all have him and that's why Jesus went away that so we can can uh, draw from the Holy Spirit and you should love him too as much as you love Jesus and our God our Father in heaven Moving to number 10, his love. What I saw was that God's love is invisible, but and his heart is invisible for us. And I wanted to make that uh, on this painting, that it's invisible, it's transparent, but you still see the light coming in and out from it. And everything which is around is enlightened and uplifted by his love, his heart. And unfortunately, we can't see it. But here I made some lines, as you can see his heart. But uh, still, we love his heart. Without it, we should, we should be lost. And some are, 
but uh, I thank him every day for his love and what he gave us. His own heart, his own son. And he uh, should be very grateful for it. Number 11. Receive the heart of the Lord. I painted it in shimmery colors because all or rather everything he created is like a, an emerald. It's shimmering. People, nature, animals, everything. So I wanted it to be as complex as possible. Uh, so you can see on, in this painting that uh, there are uh, lots of uh, small particles, there are big strokes, there are shimmering, and uh, actually the whole creation and all the love God is giving us, giving us, is coming from what He created and by His heart. So uh, I want to just to show how wonderful our creation is and that we should appreciate it much more and see what he created, the lovable thing, the wonderful things he made for us. And that's why I made this painting shimmering and uh, also some of the greens uh, are actually the grass, the fields, the nature, and everything else uh, is uh, people and uh, everything created. I think that's what I saw listening to this piece of music. It's lovely music and it's made by uh, the Lord Himself. I felt it listening to all this pieces they are wonderful and they should be spread out uh, over the world for people to listen to thank you number 12 the last song receive the heart of the lord uh, i painted that in uh, uh, brush strokes that the, where every brush stroke is a layer of people. Uh, the light ones are the ones who are lightened from above and the other ones are a different kind of uh, progress that people are uh, having. Uh, some, uh, as I wrote, some take protection in that force uh, they are uh, the light ones, the white ones, where you can find uh, love and uh, healing, and you can find uh, um, enlightenment. Uh, so the darker ones are those who haven't come so far, they haven't seen or experienced anything uh, spiritual. Uh, they can't understand, perhaps, that God is real and uh, those are represented by the darker ones but even there some of the light are coming down and uh, soon perhaps they're gonna uh, find god and let's hope and pray for them to reach uh, god's heaven even there there in their lives and uh, we also have to Thank you for his blessings and uh, well, that's not so much more to tell about this picture, it's pretty clear, uh, but you have to see the fields like people and environments and that's what I saw. So thank you for this song. I also want to add that I'm very grateful for uh, be, uh, having the opportunity to to paint uh, this music down, so to speak. And I also want to thank you for the music because it's so it touched my heart 
really deep down every piece. So sometimes I had to turn it off <laughs> to be able to paint because otherwise I, I'll be started to, starting to praise. So, but I really appreciate it. Uh, they are very well done. And uh, even if I don't understand one word of Korean, I could feel God's power in those uh, songs and those worships uh, that you made here. And I, I think they are very talented and uh, how do you express it? Very talented, done. <laughs> so I just want to thank you for this uh, mission uh, you are doing. And I hope uh, that everything goes well with you. So uh, please have a good life, all of you. Thank you very much. <laughs>